Yes, is publicly against that. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham with me now. And Senator, welcome back and good morning to you. Good morning. That was an interesting lead in. <laughs> How come? <laughs> Well, you know, at the end of the day, we need to kind of slow down. Uh, hair on fire uh, lawmaking never results in a good outcome. You're looking at a glimpse of the future of what America is going to face. We don't have to default, and we're not, but there'll come a day we can't pay Social Security checks. There'll come a day that our debt is so large people will stop buying our Treasury notes because they think we're unsound as a nation. There'll come a day where Medicare runs out of money. So you get a chance to look at the future because this debt crisis should educate every American. If you don't have fundamental change, all the things we worry about happening next Tuesday are going to come true one day. And Speaker Boehner is a good man, but his plan doesn't fundamentally change the reason we got in debt. Let, let me, let that's me what get we to should Boehner's be focused on. Moment, but I think what you said is just what Ken Conrad just said. You do not think we will default. Is that right? I don't believe we will, but eventually we are, yes. We're well, on a, what, we're what on a glide a, path. What about a downgrade next Wednesday, August 3rd? Oh, absolutely. I mean, what do they say? You need to cut $4 trillion over the next decade to avoid a downgrade. Speaker Boehner's proposal was three. I feel for John Boehner. He's been working with the president for weeks now. Every time they'd come to a big deal, they would throw more revenue on the table. They would move the goalpost. And we are a few days away because the White House could never pull the trigger. They've said no to everything. They'd never put their own plan on the table. So in response to that, we should not come up with a plan that doesn't get to four trillion and you know how much this uh, Boehner plan cuts in 2012 one billion you know how much we borrow a day uh, spend a day 10 billion so this plan saves us six hours of federal spending wow. it so doesn't is, pass is the smell the, test so what you're saying then is that the Boehner plan doesn't go nearly far enough and, and, and that's the reason right. why it does not have your support it's, a, it's, a, it's designed to deal with a problem of the president. The president would never pull the trigger on a big deal, so they're scrambling to avoid default, and they're coming up with a plan that doesn't make things better. It makes things worse. And if we'll focus on changing America, we'll come up with the right plan. Um, one final thing. What would make you happy? What would you vote uh, to for? On August the 3rd, to have a process in place that would lead to a bipartisan recognition that the only way Washington changes is that we balance, have a balanced budget amendment of the Constitution. In 97, Bill, we fell by one vote. Since 97 to today, the case for the balanced budget amendment is greater, not less. I want a plan that deals with what got us in debt that will put discipline in place we don't have today that will cut more than four trillion over the next decade and have near-term cuts but have a balanced budget amendment requiring both parties to get us out of debt and stop this uh, political rhetoric in terms of getting us out of the debt. So that's what I want, structural change consistent with the 2010 election that will save America from becoming Greece. All mm -hmm. this talk about fear, it's real. We're on an unsustainable path when it comes to our nation. The sooner we act, the better off we'll be. Six days to do it. We'll see if we can get it done. Senator, thank you. Thank Lindsey you. Lindsey Graham, the Republican out of South Carolina. Five minutes past the hour.